Our half burpee tuck jump is a cardio exercise. It is a combo move between our half burpee and our tuck jump. So if you want a little more in-depth detail of each of those, go ahead and go search and watch our half burpee demonstration video as well as our tuck jump demonstration video. I will touch a little bit on the basics of those, but those two videos are gonna be a lot more in depth if you have not done them before. Starting position for this, feet in a kind of normal relaxed position about hip distance apart. We're gonna set the hands on down right below our shoulders, about shoulder width apart in front of those feet. We're gonna hop on out to a high plank, keeping those abs nice and tight. We're gonna hop back in with those feet about shoulder width distance apart or just outside. And then we're gonna rock back onto those heels. We're gonna explode on up. And then we're gonna bring those knees on up towards that belly button height at the top. As soon as we land, we're landing, going back into that squat and then setting those hands back on down and hopping back out into that high plank position. Biggest mistakes made on this exercise is going to be one, not keeping the abs nice and tight when we're hopping out. Instead, setting those hands on down, hopping out, relaxing them, and that low back absorbing that force. Keep those abs nice and tight when you hop on out to that high plank position so that those abs are what's doing the work. Another common mistake when we're hopping in is not hopping in with those feet wide so that you can rock back on those heels. Instead, hopping in with those feet narrow to where we're now just on the balls of the feet and it's hard to sit back into that. This is gonna put more strain on the arch of your foot and the balls, make sure that you're setting those feet outside of shoulder width or far enough apart at least that you're able to actually rock back to those feet being flat instead of just the balls of the feet. Last thing here, biggest mistake made in the top portion of that movement is going to be landing harshly and making the joints absorb that force. So what that's gonna look like, popping up like this, and then you can feel that impact in the floor. Remember, any sort of plyometric moves where we leave the floor and land again, we wanna land and go right back down into that squat or that lunge or whatever we're doing so that the muscles are absorbing and slowing that momentum, not the joints. So make sure when you hop and you do that tuck, you're landing softly and going right back down into that squat so that the muscles are going to be doing the work.